Hi, I've just made some pyramids for a photographer. He asked me for... Let me show you the picture. A cube. And up here, an equilateral triangle. An equilateral pyramid. Four edges that are the same. So 400 mil there, 400 mil there, 400 mil there. Square. And a triangle pyramid. 700 mil high. 40 mil base, triangular base and I thought well you know can't be too hard but never made one before so I thought maybe roofing geometry will help me because I don't want to go into all the cosine and tangents and all that crap never learned it at school don't want to learn it now so this is what you learn in college about roofing you've got a rise there you put your rise here can see it bring your mark around and that gives you your angle there and I did try this um, see if I could find a drawing for it uh, this one see that's the rise that's the rise there and I worked out this angle 35 degrees and it, it sort of worked but me dimensions were off they weren't the same as what I drew on here so I had to go back to school and learn, look online, but I couldn't really find anything that, that worked. So eventually I found this website. And what you need to know on this is the size up here, look, the base size, that's the width across there on my drawing. It's that dimension there. Let me get rid of the construction line so it's a bit clearer. That distance across there, or that one across there, which is 400 mil on the mine. So on that website, 400 mil put in there. I need this angle, which is this one here. If you draw a horizontal line there and then down, I didn't really have that on my drawing, so I had to work it out. See there, let me just capture that. See that 54.75. Not this one, but that one when you're looking at the side. Like that, look. No, try it. That's the triangular one 74.05. So, what did we have? 54.74. So uh, 54.74 Calculate You put in the amount of sides here But we wanted 4 So that gave a cutting angle of 53 degrees And the base angle is the same So what I needed to know was This size here, you see he's got 200 on there The true length of these or 364 should I say the true length of these, which is this size here, not that size, that's not a true size because you imagine the pyramids, it's leaning over. So that triangle there, you know, isn't, isn't the right size. This one, this development on the side here is the, the right size. So I had to work all these things out. And then just for the base, I had to work this one out here. This one out here, but I'll come to that. So let's um, just to explain it a bit better and how I got to this calculation here. I'll draw it again. So let's um, let's close that. No, I don't want to save it. I haven't changed anything. Right, so what I've got is a 300, a three-sided pyramid with 400 mil base, 400 mil base there. So if I draw a square, let me just change this grid. Fifty in there. 
between the that's a bit better. So we're on square. And if I click G there, it'll snap it to the grid. And then down here in the bottom corner down here, I've got my sizes. So if I press the tab button, it takes me down there. And I want 400. Tab again, 400. So that's the base of our pyramid. We're looking at, um, looking at it from the plan view. So if I go V, V is a vertex. I think it's the end of something. So V there will snap on there. Click V on the keyboard, I'll snap it there, same again there, V, V, right so that's the point of our pyramid, that's the base, I can use these things that are temporary lines, I know I need to just change the colour of that, because blue's a crappy colour, go with brown, so if I go V, if I click V again on there, it'll snap onto there, look, V again there. I'll put one in the middle as well. That's I for intersection. I for intersection, V for vertex. And then up here, good graph view. We'll just put one in across anywhere. And I'll put a line in there. So I for intersection. I for intersection. And then on the roofing geometry, let me bring that back up. You see, we know the rise, we know the height of this. So with your plan, you've got the width, the roof span, and you've got the rise. So you can, you can swing this arc around. And this develops this piece on the side, which is the true shape of that, that side of the roof. You see here, the true length of jet rafter, but on the, on the plan, it's just, just that leg so this is the true shape but we don't know the rise on ours on this one because he wants wrong one because he wants an equilateral triangle I haven't got a height I've got a height for this three-sided one but not for this one so this roofing diagram I have to sort of work backwards I have to know what this is then I can work out me, me rise how high this pyramid is then from that I can work out that angle for the online calculation thingy so if I put another couple of horizontals in here so V there and V there and then we pick a circle this one and we're going to make that the same colour let's just zoom in a little bit so if I go I there and then in this bottom corner I click on the radius there and go 400 Get rid of most of that and I go I there again or V around pick a line I I I I again so there we have an equilateral triangle Any writing. So 400 there. I'll change the colour of that one. I'll do smart. Make it red. 400 there, 400 there, 400 mil there. So an equilateral triangle, that's what we want. So that there is the true shape of that side of that pyramid. So we need to bring that around here now. So if I get a horizontal line there, and go I, 
click out to that point cancel now I've got my distance there for that radius thing there look you see I've got that line in I got that radius now so I can go back to my circle click I there I there I've got a centre mark here so we can get rid of everything except for that so now I've got a cross section so I can go I there I there I there and I there so that is the side view of this pyramid now that's the true size so for my when I when I cut these pieces I can go M for middle and I for section I for intersection I mean so that's three four six there look. that's how wide I cut my board and I need a line across the top oops horizontal there we go if I go I there okay yeah, no. I there cancel put a line in so I end for nearest so that'll click on there and that gives me that distance that gives me that angle so 54.74 that's what we had before see 54.74 400 mil size base which is that and we want four sides calculate so what I needed to do was cut a board at Wrong one, that one. 346 mil wide. If you watch my videos, I get that wrong, I get it 364. Duh. But that distance set me bevel to 35 degrees. And away we went. If you watch my videos, you'll see me do that. So for the three-sided pyramid I've got a base that's 400 mil square just like just like I drew for the other one so let's draw this one over here so if I choose that tool there click let's put it over here I click G for grid then I tab down into the bottom corner put 400 tab 0 degrees enter and if I click tab again 400 yeah angle um, equilateral triangle that's 360 degrees so 120 Ooh. 120 there you go enter finish so there I've got an equilateral triangle which is that base right now we can do the same as that stop jumping around we can do the same as that so if I put some some of these in V V, yeah, I know. V, yeah. I then. I. I'm going to get rid of that one just because it's in the way. Construction, get rid of that line, get rid of that line. 
Right. So if I got either either we know the height of this one's seven hundred mil high, so I can put a parallel construction in like that. And if I click tab it takes me down to the bottom corner, seven hundred mil, enter. I can just put some lines in there, so I I again so that is the side looking view of that just like that is let's put some put some lines in here make it look like a pyramid so I M for middle I M for middle and then I again, I might as well just go to the middle on this intersection, so I can, I can just tidy that up a little bit, I don't need all them, get rid of that, and yeah, there we go, so if I just hide the construction lines, that's what our pyramid looks like from above. That's the point, that's the point. So, I have to do this one a little different. I have to do it like, I'll find the drawing, like this, you see. Got a, whoa, steady. Got a centre line there, and an arc radius around. So I need to know this true length of this hip here, this side, this, this plan isn't the, this side looking, this side view isn't the true shape. We need to know the true length, which is done by developing this around. And then you can draw triangles like this, I'll show you. So, I need to just put the construction lines back on. I need a construction line across the middle there. So, I for intersection. Then arc center, so I for intersection there, I for intersection there, and we can get rid of a lot of this. And then I've got that, I've got that there now, so I can put a line up. I'll use horizontal construction so I can go I for intersection there and then put a line in so from I to I gives me the true length of one of these sides up here just like on there you see true length of slant edge so if I, 7311, why is that different? That's different to my drawing. I've got 73735. 73711. What's the, why, why? <laughs> M, I, 700 base 400 400 400 400 is it all bloody same? what's this one? 728011 728011400400400 737.35 I don't know I think it must be the the accuracy of these these little points with this smart thing let's just try it on this one you see that's a smart angle it picks out the app picks out the size automatically for you but this one you have to put in manually so I I 
say that one says seven three. Oh, that's completely wrong, isn't it? We've got way too many things going on up in that top corner. Look. Oh, see that points off. Anyway, it's near enough. We'll carry on regardless. Was that a carry on film? 737.11 and the drawing I went to was 737.35 so what 0.2 of a millimetre out it's near enough right so now we've got that true length there I can work out the true shape of the side of one of these so we just put another construction line in there and use my arc center and 73711 so if i go intersection there and then i want to lock this one i remember 737.11 get rid of all this we don't need all that then come down here we know the base size is 400 mil so 400 I put in there, I don't know why it does that, it just puts one in for some reason. So I there, like I say we don't need all of that, so I can get rid of that. Come back to that line, so I, I, I. I, I, I. So that is the true shape of one of these sides. I, M. And that is the true length of one of these sides. That distance there. See that distance is the distance up the hip, the true distance up the hip, but that distance is the true distance, you know, on its plane or whatever you want to call it. Right, 70946, let's see what my old drawing had, 70971, so, you know, 0.3 of a mil out, it's near enough. Right, something I had to do on my other, right, something I had to do when I was making them was look at the angle. You see that one, that, that view there is looking from that angle there. That view there is looking sort of down, flat, you know, square onto that face there. But what I wanted to do was to look at that angle there, see how much that is sloping over there, the true the true sort of shape that is. Waffling a bit now, but I'll just draw this through and it gives you the sort of true shape of the size and in one of my videos it'll it'll sort of make sense. Alright, so I'll pick a angular construction. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Too many things going on there. So I can go at I I right so we've got a sort of line of sight that way now so I can pick a parallel and go I there oop wrong parallel that parallel another I there then I want a perpendicular We'll go one across there, just put a line in there, the baseline, so I, I, and then we know the height is 700 mil, so we're, we're sort of we're recreating this, but looking from, from the sort of side of it, if you know what I mean, from the edge of it, so I can go parallel, so I can go parallel there, 
tab down into the bottom corner, minus 700. Enter. All I've got to do then is put some lines in here. So, I, I, I again, I. So that, let me put one up the middle as well. No. So that is the true sort of shape. Let me get I, long I. I, I, let's just get rid of the construction lines. You see that? If I can turn this around, I don't know how to do that. Roll, slide, examine. I think they're more the 3D tools. If I was to spin that around, that would be looking at this from that angle. Right, I'm going to select all. I just put my camera between my keys. Camera knee between my knees. So I need to just deselect that line and that line. We'll put all these on a separate layer. New layer, we'll just call it lines. Yes, so we can turn all that off now and constructionalize. So, all we've got is that now. So, we can just go into hold on, just turn that back on. We need to know that angle, and because that is turn off the construction lines, because that is the true length of one of these sides. That is this part down here, we're looking through there, that is the true angle, not this angle here, like this, I don't think, it doesn't really make any difference on this job, but, but what we needed to do was know this angle here, so if I just uh, I put the construction lines on, I put a line from either nearest and then angle across the 71.4, 71.74, what was my old one, 71.69, so we are very slightly out but it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's a fraction of a millimetre or a fraction of a degree, so near enough. So let's, um, like I say, let's hide all that, and we'll select, hit tab to get the thing back, put that on, put all that on that line as well, and that, so they're all hidden, hidden construction, so all we've got now is that triangle and the square, oh I forgot to do something again. We need to know this height here for this. This this, this bit is important. This is more for my fun. So um, I two eight two eight four. Remember that two eight two eight four. Let's hide all that. Right, let's leave it on there actually. So it's got a 3D view. So, pick a cone, pick this specified 2D base, and we can make that into a tab 282, was it? 282. I'll do, can't remember the rest. Enter. See, we've got a cone there now. Make that solid looking. I've just got to put the camera between my key and knees again. And turn that around, look. 
and just turn those off. Da. And the other one, we know it's 700 mil high. So cone, specify 2D base, tab, 700, enter. That's what I'm going to be building basically. Oh, that's what I built actually by the time I'm drawing this. Yeah. I can't turn it around, my computer goes mad because I've rendered it. So I hope this video makes sense, sort of sense, and I hope this will help make the next videos make sense, or the next videos will make this make sense, whatever, one or the other. Um, this blew my mind a little bit, I'm sorry if I've waffled and bumbled along. <laughs>